Hi, welcome. This is Bible Facts Existence Africa. My name is Kasani. Today we're going to look for another topic study that, is, that I entitled The Freedom of Choice. Freedom of Choice. What does the Bible say? Or what does the Bible teach about the freedom of choice? You know, people, we mistake in these things. Yeah, there is a freedom of choice and freedom of speech. Now, today let us talk about the freedom of choice. Uh, we shall open in the book of John, chapter 16, verse 8 to verse 11 and 13. You can open your Bible. It says, And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment and of sin, because they do not believe in me of righteousness, because I go to my father and see you me no more of judgment because the ruler of and also i'll give you this uh you open you read first samuel chapter 16 from verse 1 to 11 and also you open and read from jeremiah chapter 31 16 to 17. now freedom of choice you know, brethren, the main reason for prayer is to have the personal relationship with our Heavenly Father. Some people pray only when they have or they are in trouble or when they want something. And God, if does not answer just the way they think he should and they feel God is not real. Oh, he does not care. Oh, that prayer does not work. But it is does it it does not mean that God did not hear you or He does not love you. Sometimes, no matter how hard we pray, things don't turn out the way we hoped. For instance, if we are praying for the loved one to give their hearts to Jesus, we must remember that God will not change another person's will. You understand? God will not change another person's will. He has given all of us the freedom of choice. From the Garden of Eden, I've told you that many times. It is a freedom of choice. And that person is free to choose whether he will do the right or wrong. No matter amount of praying, we will make God to someone to change but his will on them but we have to continue praying intercessory prayers for the Holy Spirit to keep working on their heart never give up keep praying and don't forget to trust in God with his answers and for our God is trustworthy so the freedom of choice God will not change anyone's heart or anyone's mind because God is not a dictator. So God gave us the freedom of choice. We can choose to follow him, to make him our God and do what he says. But God will never force anyone. But God will not allow anyone to enter heaven unless you obey. That's why this gospel of salvation it is between life and death either you believe in god or not it is your choice the life is in your hands so god he has given us all these chances so that we can do anything we want or you can use your life anything you feel that you should do but one thing don't forget god will never force or change someone's choice remember we have the freedom of choice so make sure you subscribe to our channel and always make sure that you don't miss another video god bless you